Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. My name is Susan Campfield with cstampfield.com. I'm so glad that you're here with me tonight. Uh, we are gonna be making a card together. Oh, surprise, this one was a request. It's a fun fold card that I got for my birthday from Karen Schultz and I had someone email me and say, that card was gorgeous, can you show us how to make it? So we're gonna try to figure it out together. I haven't tried. Um, and I don't maybe have quite all the things she used, so we might have to, to get creative, but we're good at that, right? Together, we will make a great card. I want to thank each and every one of you for making and sending handmade cards. You are making the world a kinder place, and I appreciate all that you do. And thank you for your patience tonight. Craziness here. I'm uh, up to here on uh, the April Crafternoon uh, uh, design, and so, um, yeah. It's, it's been crazy. I've got dinner in the oven. My husband's going to finish it off when he gets home. And let's go ahead and get started. Shout out to my moderator, Mary Nass, who is hanging in the comments. What buttons? I'm... <laughs> let's hit the right buttons here. Okay. Project sheets. Oh my goodness. Yes, I forgot to tell you. The project sheet email went out yesterday. Uh, do we call it yesterday if it went out at 1 a.m.? I don't know. It went out at 1 a.m. <laughs> Okay, you guys can't see this is top secret crafter noon stuff. Oh my goodness, we gotta shove all that out of the way. Okay. Oh, what a mess. Okay. Uh, yes, the project sheet email went out um, in the wee hours in the morning. And today, Stampin' Up! started a new sale. Oh, a sale. Let me show you the uh, projects that were in the uh, project sheet. We had this one, which we made together. Why is my light not on? Oh my goodness. Seriously. All right. There we go. Uh, we made this one. If you recall in one of our past videos, then um, you guys helped me decide which papers to use. And then after the video, um, I made this one. Now, this was with the um, the gorgeous artistic dies. 30% off. The, the uh, retirement sale started today. So these are 30% off. I don't know if they're sold out yet or not. Honestly, I haven't even looked. It's just been a crazy, crazy day. So um, the uh, softly, uh, no, sweetly scripted um, uh, stamp set is back in stock, by the way. Both of these are made with the uh, perennial uh, lavender designer series paper. And uh, it was based on this card from Kelly Burkhart. And that, oh, upside down, Susan. <laughs> and then uh, the... Other one was the uh, Zinnia seed packet. Um, so it's a, a pocket card where, that can hold a seed packet. That's how I made it. You could also put money, gift card in there, whatever. I don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. <laughs> in our last video, uh, we made this gorgeous card. Um, these are the gorgeous garden dies. These are also on sale starting today. I can't remember how much they're off. 30%, um, I think. Uh, not sure. Um, and then uh, after the video, I did the other die in that set. It's a set of two dies. Uh, one is the flowers and one is the leaves. Which one do you like better, the flowers or the leaves? You can see I flipped the colors. So this one I did the um, soft sea foam behind with the flowers and vanilla. And this one I did the leaves and soft sea foam with the vanilla behind. Um, I don't know if they're both, both have... Uh, both have uh, good good looks, I guess. Oh, the flowers. Oh, a few people for leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, so you can find that video on my channel. Again, I do not know if these dies have sold out or not. They are um, they are on sale now. Yay. Uh, let's see. What else? What else is happening? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. Back up. Back up. Uh, for those of you that watched this video and saw me accidentally throw the the dye into my trash can i was able to recover it <clears throat> so that has been recovered uh, for those of you that watched this video where we did the skinny bits a fun fold card with the poetic expressions designer paper i think i made this one on the video and i made this one afterwards um, i used the um quiet meadow dyes um i'm embarrassed to admit i still have not located <laughs> The Quiet Meadows stamp set. I don't know if it's sold out or not yet. I know it's sold out in uh, Australia, but I'm not sure in the U.S. So, 
Yeah, it's here somewhere, but we don't know where. Okay, so tonight we are making this beautiful card. Um, this was a birthday card I received from Karen Schultz, and it's a fun fold card. So it looks on the front, oh, uh, front appearances, it looks like a standard card, right? Uh, but this one opens up like this, and um, and then like this. How cool is that? So it's, I don't know what you would call this, a trifold maybe? Because it definitely has uh, a one, a two, a three kind of a thing going on here. So um, did the stamp set fall in the trash? Well, if it did, I took the trash out <laughs> uh, after that video. So gosh, I hope not. Um, all right. So uh, somebody asked me, they said that card is gorgeous. Can you make it? So we're going to uh, we're going to learn this new fold tonight and uh, we'll see how we go. OK, we might do use different products. Um, this paper that um, Karen used inside here is called Hello Irresistible. Yes, it's a six by six paper and it is, I did check, it is still available. It was an online exclusive from last year and it's still hanging in there. It might go anytime now. We don't know with the online exclusives when they'll go. Um, and so this, this is the one she used here. And then Karen put an embossed panel on the front. But I was wondering if we could just try it um, with just doing this uh, this on the front with this on the inside. Should we try that and see um, see how that goes? This one is, is heavier weight because it has that cardstock layered over the, the DSP and cardstock are stuck, stuck together um, and then added to this panel. So um, we'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, or, or let me just see what, um, I don't know that I have. What did she use on the inside here? She used this one. Do I have any of that? It, I, I had so much of this paper, like loads and loads of this paper. And I, oh, I do, you guys, look at that. I've got it. Woo. Um, I've used almost all of the pink one. I do still have some of this pretty pink and yellow. That one would be nice too. Uh, but let's, should we go with the same um, that is gorgeous paper? So this is called Hello Irresistible. I had so much of it, I split it up into patterns. And then, um, yeah, I am down to the bare nubbin on this paper. Mm. So let's, uh, well, I did find there's uh, some more over there. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get, uh, do some cutting. Let's figure out this, uh, the dimensions here, what we need for this fun fold. Um, Karen's card base was, pretty peacock so should we go ahead and do the same thing this is pretty peacock it's a gorgeous color and i'm gonna get our dimensions here i will show these at the end <clears throat> if i remember mary help me remember <laughs> sometimes it's hard uh, i am uh oh gosh wait hold on hold the phone I found the paper trimmer. It was under the Simply Scoring tool, which you know we could also use, but I can't cut with that. So I might as well use this for the whole thing. I am using a ring light, so I do apologize for that little circle, um, X mark, circle marks the spot. That's not what we say, but we will today. All right, so we're gonna cut this piece. Move my water over. Tell me what's in your cup tonight. I am a messy crafter and I lose stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just literally shoving things out of the way. <gasps> it is pretty much chaos here. Um, <laughs> creative mess, let's call it. Creative, yeah, it's a mess. I can't come up with a nicer term. Um, we're going to cut this at, and the, the part we're cutting, just to be clear, is this piece. So this is a whole separate section. The front of this card is at, attached separately, okay? It's got Pepsi drinkers, we got green tea, coffee, water. I've got water, um, I don't even, I don't think I even have any ice left. Oh my goodness, there's not much water in there either. I better not lose very many things. All right, we're gonna cut this at five and a half, which is what a normal card would be. But then we're gonna, um, we're gonna, <laughs> deter from that because we're going to cut it at seven and a half. So five and a half by seven and a half. It's a little bit different size than a normal standard um, card base. All right. Okay, so we've got that. And now let's do some scoring here. I'm wrinkling my paper. This is not good. All right, we're going to score it three and a quarter and six and a half. Three and a quarter 
and I will show these at the end of the video. I'm scoring, not cutting. Okay, horchata. Ooh, is that how you say that? That sounds very exotic, horchata. All right, so I've scored it at three and a quarter, and I'm going to score it at six and a half. Okay, there we go. So this is going to go like, we're going to crease on this. This is going to flop over, and that'll be the back. Before we do that, let's get the front uh, panel cut. So we're going to try to do the front panel just with designer paper and see how that works. It may not work. We'll find out, right? We'll find out together. So it looks like um, Karen cut this a little bit narrower than the back. Can you see that there's a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of the pretty peacock peeking in behind. So we're going to do this same. Oh, it's the H is silent. Horchata. Is that how you say it? Horchata? Hmm. You can see I never have never had any. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut this. Uh, ooh, hang on. All right, so this is going to be the front panel. That's going to be these dimensions I have right here. We're going to try it out at designer paper. You can also do it out of embossed cardstock like Karen did and then layer designer paper on the back of it. But it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths is what I measured on that. So four and an eighth. That's right there, right? Yes. Four and an eighth. And then we're going to cut it down to five and three eighths. Some of those papers where you're like, oh, I don't want to cut it down. It's so pretty. But we can do it. We can just, we'll chop it off the bottom so that our, our stems and vines here are visible. And okay, so that's going to go on the front of the card. And then we need a panel over here on the inside. And that's going to be this pattern. So let's get that cut. Um, this is going to be three by five and a quarter. This is a piece of three by five and a quarter. Oh, Mary's on it. So yeah, I called that this front panel. I called it optional, didn't I? <laughs> it was four and an eighth by three and an eighth. So, all right. Dinner hour in California. Having a little wine with dinner. That sounds delish. All right. So we're going to cut this at three by five and a quarter. No wine for me. I have to get, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm cutting a lot of paper tonight for um, Craftoonoon. So Craftoonoon is my monthly class. If you place the qualifying order in March, you're going to get a packet to make the card. Um, and it's also the month that I do my team gathering. So they are going to get a packet. My directs are going to get a packet to make the Craftoonoon fold as well. Um, a different a, a, a team exclusive version of it um and so okay so here we go we've got, got uh one more thing we want to cut and that's this inside piece right here because when you're using a dark cardstock like this you want something so you can write or stamp your greeting or both um if i was using a white base here i wouldn't have to have this piece but it's three by five and a quarter so it's exactly the same size as this dsp was um, I just happen to have a chunk of basic white on my desk. Imagine that. What are the odds? <laughs> Three by five and a quarter. All right. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's always a little scary. Um, going live with you all and having no idea what the card well I mean I know what I want it to look like but ours is going to end up being a little bit different because that's 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 how crafting goes right you gotta kind of make it your own so all right let's go ahead and do some folding here I'm going to set our dimensions aside and we'll just hope that I remember to show them later <clears throat> All right, so I want to fold, let's, let's take a look here. This one needs to be fold like a valley. All right, so let me get my bone folder out. Nice, good crease on that one. Okay, so that one is a valley fold, which means it, well, actually, you know what? 
I'm saying that wrong. It's a mountain fold. My bad. Okay, it's a mountain fold. Excuse me. And then this uh, this other one is a valley. So mountain and valley. Do you see? I, I, am I saying that right? Yeah, this one goes. It depends how you look at it. This one goes up and that one goes down. <laughs> oh. All right. So I folded that one the wrong way. Let's just fix that. Bone folder. Come back. Where did you go? Here we go. Different fold folder, I think, but whatever. All right. All right. I'm a little bit concerned because this is almost crossing that line. I might have to trim this down a little bit. We'll we'll see how we go. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and look at the front of the card. The front is not scored at all. It is just attached to this scored section right here. All right, so we can put some adhesive on. Mm. Oh boy, hold on, I'm I'm looking, I'm doing the, the eye search here, I'm moving some things, uh-huh, uh-huh, perhaps, under some pearls. There's not a lot in there, but it'll, it'll do. Found it, take a sip, everyone. All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> hey, at least we found it, it wasn't in a trash can. It's all good. All right, so I've got some adhesive on here. I did put it on the panel. I made sure it wasn't too close to the top or the side because we do have a very skinny little border here that I want to show. Um, you also could have put it on the just the back edge of this piece, um, but we want this piece to be loose. So I didn't do it everywhere. I just did it in that one spot. And so, yeah, I think that's, that's going to be fine. I was worried that I'd was going to have to trim that a little bit, but I think it's, I think it's just fine. All right. So there we have our, our front piece on there. Mm -hmm. Get that very, oh, well, it's on now. It wasn't maybe as even as it could have been because I've got a nice border here, here, and here, and hardly any over here, but hey, that's okay. <laughs> All right. So We've got our inside pieces. Let's do those first, and then we'll do a little decorating on the front. What do you think? All right, so this goes on the inside of the card here. Oh, seriously, I was like, it just had it in my, oh, okay, wait. Should we, which side should we use, friends? Should we use this side with the white in it? Uh, what would we call that, cross hatch, maybe? Um, let's, should we use one or two? I feel like I'm at the eye doctor. One or two, which is clear. One or two. Let me know which one, which side we are going to do on the inside. And while you're voting on that, I'm going to stick the white piece in here. Okay. So I'm seeing lots of ones. I'm seeing lots of twos. Which usually means we're not going to be able to make a bad choice. So that's reassuring. Hang on, I gotta remember where I'm sticking this. Yep, okay, right here is where I'm sticking this. There we go. All right. And then I'm gonna close this up. And what are we going with? I see more ones. Got a few twos in there, but I am seeing more ones. So let's do this crosshatch side up. No wrong answer there, right? They're both gorgeous. Boy, I should be more more um, more frugal with my tape. I don't have much left. All right, so oh, it's so cute, right? What a fun little flappy thing! It reminds me of the book binding card, but with a secret door inside. How fun is that? We might need to come up with a name unless if Karen happens to be watching Karen is there a name for this fold because it's super fun all right so all we have left to do is decorate the front of the card um, now I changed it up a little bit and I already have quite a bit of decoration Karen used these awesome dies that are um, irresistible blooms dies that go with Hold the phone. <laughs> Found it. Yay. Take a sip, everyone. They go with the Irresistible Blooms stamp set. Um, you can see some really fun dies in this set. Um, again, this is an online exclusive. We do not know how long this could go at any time. Um, so she used this uh, fun die here across the bottom. 
and then she used this one and it looks like she cut it twice she cut it she cut it twice and pieced it no i think she did a big white circle and then cut this and put it there because that's a layered circle behind so super super unique dies in this and then it's got the flowers which she die cut out of the paper um, this is, oh no, she didn't. She stamped them, I think, and colored them in. Ah, how fun is that? So, um, I think a flower, which I'm all about the flowers, aren't I? I think the flower would be fun, but I think because we did ours a little bit different, um, we have all this pattern here. I think we might just need one flower and maybe some words. Should we try that and see what it looks like? Let's go with this little bit smaller flower here. I don't know, just guessing at this point. And we might want to do a leaf as well. Should we do, we'll do the double leaf instead of the triple leaf. How about that? Probably use a greeting too. Let's grab a couple blocks here. <clears throat> I've got so many stamps on my desk that, uh, Fortunately, I have a ton of blocks, but I a lot of them are in play right now. There are a few blocks that are retiring. Um, where is it? I was just using it this afternoon. Uh, back here. I think the skinny block G is retiring, um, which I'm sad about. Block A is retiring. That's a little tiny one that has already sold out. And block, what was the other one? Um, <clears throat> Uh, block I, I think, is, is selling out. Okay, so um, let's I have a thought. I wonder what it would look like if we stamped it on this designer paper and I cut it out. Should we try it? Um, this is called Susan is Too Lazy to Color. <laughs> um, I think uh, Karen was not too lazy. I think she, it looks like she watercolored it maybe, um, which is beautiful. Um, I'm going to try the lazy way. <laughs> So I'm opening up my pretty peacock ink pad here and I'm inking up this big flower. Oh, it's very juicy, juicy ink pad. And I'm going to stamp it over on this edge because this one is a little bit lighter in color. I think that looks nice. What do you guys think? And then we'll go ahead and ink up the leaves. Now Karen did use, she used the big flower with a triple. She used a small flower with no leaves and a, another flower with this leaf that we're about to use. And I'm going to die cut these out so it, they don't have to be next to each other or anything. So I got the leaf there. It's probably not very paper saving ish of me, but that's okay. I was looking for where the lighter, kind of a little bit lighter spots were. I'm going to need this for our greeting. So I'm going to hang on to that. Let's see if Susan <laughs> can clear enough space. Oh my God. Seriously, what a disaster. Ah, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Let's bring in the die cutting machine. You all are so patient with me and my messes. Thank you for hanging out and helping me design this card. Okay, things are now falling. That's pretty much yeah, how we roll around here. Uh, okay, let's find the dies that match this stamp. So that one goes right there. And then the leaf is right here, isn't it? I did, I know I did some of the Crafternoon folds with this gorgeous paper, so, so pretty. So if you would like to uh, make the next Crafternoon fold with me, all right, where are my post-it notes? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Seriously, seriously, where is a post-it note when you need one? Ah, found one. <laughs> <laughs> only one last one on this sheet but we found one um i was like i thought <laughs> i thought this was one but no this is a coaster okay no that won't work okay um hopefully i can make these do double duty i just use the post-it note to hold the die in place so that it doesn't shift because i want it to cut the flower out or in the leaf out exactly where I stamped them. So we're gonna send that through. Anyway, if you want to join me for Crafternoon um, in May, uh, just need to place an order in my online store if you're in the US for $50 before tax and shipping. And then in May, you'll get a packet and you can make the Crafternoon fold along with me. Those of you who ordered in March, um, Crafternoon this month is going to be on April 20th. It's a Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Time. My direct team members will be making the Crafternoon fold on Thursday, the 18th. 
All right, here we go. We've got our flower and our leaf. And I don't know, gosh, this might be a little, a little lost. It's not really gonna stand out, is it? Hmm, how can we fix that? I'm gonna, uh, I've got a couple thoughts. We can do a layer behind. That would, would help. Um, I was wondering if I could use this in some way or this in some way and have the flower be, let's cut this in white and see what we think, if we wanna use it or not, okay? I'm gonna flip this over, grab a scrap of white cardstock. This happens to be one at the ready. Uh, when you're doing die cutting like this, scraps are your friend. It's a great way to use up those scraps. Whoopsie, try the white. Yep, we could also do a circle. Oh my gosh, all right. There we go. It wants to be at an angle, but sometimes these long ones cut better when they're at an angle anyway. So I'll just let it call the shots here. Okay, let's crank this through. Going slow, but we're gonna get there and it's gonna clunk. Okay, excellent, two clunks. It's a two clunk. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, now I'm just throwing things around. All right, so. Let's see what this looks like. Come on out, very gently pull this out. It's almost like strings, so fun. All right, so we could put that here and put our flower on top of it. I can put it there, can I? Sure I can. I totally could do that. Put our flower on it. I still don't know if it shows up enough. That is one option. Pretty cute. All right, let's try something else. We're all about the options here. Um, just gonna grab a circle punch. This is the two and three eighths circle. Let's see what that looks like. like a moon, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if that looks like it really belongs. All right, don't, no worries. We're going to get there. All right, I have another thought. Read my comments. How about a white flower? That You read my mind, Betty. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's go monochromatic white here. I'm just cleaning off those extra bits. Can I get, I think the flower and leaf will even fit on this. That's right, sure they will. Okay, um, did I put away? Of course, I put away the pretty, I never put anything away, but I put away the ink pad. The pretty peacock ink pad here. Let's stamp right, <laughs> I'm stamping right on the die cutting machine. This is really not what it's made for, <clears throat> but hey, any port in a storm, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. Some of you are saying vellum would be a nice idea. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's die cut these out. Did I flip this yet? I don't think I did. You do want to flip your plates every time. No, I did because I can see where this, oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. What side did I cut the thingy on? I have no idea. All right, I'm just gonna assume I already flipped it. <laughs> anyone's guess. All right, we're going to put this here. Just lining that up. We'll put this here. And then, yeah, we'll grab um, some vellum. The vellum basics I have been really loving. It's a patterned vellum um, in the catalog that's on sale starting today. I, again, I don't know if it's sold out yet or not. Haven't looked. Let's go ahead. Oh, you were in the, Virginia was in the path of the eclipse. Who saw the eclipse yesterday? Um, I was in Minnesota, which is not in the path of the eclipse, and it was uh, rainy and cloudy here. So all we saw were a bunch of clouds, and then it got a little bit darker. 
<laughs> uh, right when the eclipse happened and that was that was kind of all that happened here so uh, hopefully you were in a better spot for that unique and rare occurrence all right let's set those aside all right let's let's put this away for now we might need it still but let's see what we've got with our white flower and white leaf. So I've got this stem here. I could have this flower being on the stem. Um, I could also have it be on this bigger stem down here as if it's blossoming on that and tuck the leaf right behind. That white certainly shows up better, doesn't it? Um, somebody did mention vellum. Hold on one. Hmm. Aha, found it. That was lucky. I put it where it belonged. Ha! What are the odds? What are the odds? All right, let me open up. This is the basics vellum. Um, gorgeous stuff. Okay, so the latest Crafternoon Fold. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to find that, am I? Oh, maybe I did. I found it. Possibly? No, I didn't. Ah, so excited. All right. Um, yeah, here it is. Okay, we got it. 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 <laughs> All right, what am I looking for? Um, we use the vellum on this card. Oh, I love this card. Uh, so I don't know if you can see that there, but this was the uh, the newest Crafternoon fold. It's called the double stack. Do you see how they're stacked on top of each other? Um, the double stack display card because it does stand for display. But this vellum, this one is the leafy pattern inside here. I do realize it's really hard to see on the screen, but oh, it's so pretty. It just kind of softens everything up. So um, thanks for joining us, Virginia. Have a good evening. She has to go. She can always catch the rest on the replay, right? All right, let's just try this here and see what the vellum would do. I had a, I had a circle punch. Found it. Take a sip, everyone. All right, so I'm going to try the leafy pattern. There's another pattern in here, too. So we've got a vellum circle, and we could do this. The flower is still, I think, too dark um, for that. The leaf isn't bad. We could do the flower on the vellum circle with the uh, the leaf behind it. Hmm, so many options, right? All right, I am going to, let me go back to this. Let's see what this would look like here. If I put the flower here and added the leaf kind of as an extra layer behind it, maybe even down here. I don't even know if I need the leaf. All right. Go right on that right there. And I'm going to add, okay, let me know. Should we use the green leaves or the white leaves? I realize they kind of disappear a little bit. So green or white, let me know in the comments. And while you're deciding on that, and we can curl them and pop them up and all the things, they will show up more. Um, and let's do a greeting all right let's go to hello irresistible and i do a lot of birthday cards so i hope you're okay with doing hooray it's your day so let's find that all right white it is okay there we go and then let's go with um uh, uh, block that fits it. <laughs> little block B for the win here. All right, let's see. What do I want to, um, what kind of shape do I want this to be? Ah, oh, put the pretty peacock wing ink pad away again. <laughs> White, no vellum, no circle, perfectly simple and beautiful. I like it. I agree with you. All right. And of course, if you don't like the way I'm doing it, you can do it your own way, right? With your own things, your own supplies. All right, so we've got Hooray, It's Your Day. I'm feeling a little bit lazy, um, which usually means I grab a punch. 
<laughs> Let's do this triple banner punch. I have absolutely no idea if this is staying or going. Couldn't tell you to save my life right now. Um, don't know. Let, we're going to cut this down to an inch so that it will fit in that punch. So let's trim it. I just used a scrap, right? Just did a scrap and then we'll cut to size. I'm just chopping bits off now. <laughs> just making it up as I go. That's how we roll. All right. You know what? I think I could even go down. Could I go down to three quarter of an inch or would that be too tight? I think I could. Should we try it? Is that too tight? Hang on. I'm going to close the guide and see. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, so I'm going to, I think I want the flag to be, where do I want it to be? Do I want it to be up here on the left? Maybe that would be a good spot for it. All right, so let's do that. So I'm going to trim this one flush. Oh, <laughs> got little bits in there. I'm cutting all sorts of things. And then let's leave this a bit long so we can punch it. Maybe too long, but let's try it. Maybe too short. Who knows? Oh, I don't think I can get that in the punch. There's the three quarter, but what's going to happen? It's going to go so far. I can't get it in all the way. So this is where we need a handle. All right. This is where a post-it note, again, a sticky note is my friend. So hold on one moment. Let me grab a, a sticky note. Note. All right. These are little sticky notes that are used for page markers. If you don't have little ones like this, you can just um, cut one to size, right? And I'm just going to use this as a little handle. Um, if you don't have sticky notes, you'd actually just use some temporary adhesive and use a little bit of cardstock or something, just something to get it so that you can push it in all the way. And then with this one, I do like to flip it around and make sure that it's flush on the back side before I punch it. Woo! <laughs> I threw that right at you guys. Didn't mean to. Sorry about that. And then we've got our little, doo -doo -doo -doo, our little, hooray, it's your day. And we can finish our card. So fun. All right. So this is going to go up here. Clean and simple. I love it. This is going to go here. All right, now the fun part. We're going to pop things up and add some glitz and sparkle, right? I've lost Karen's card, you guys. <laughs> Seriously, I can lose anything. It's it's kind of a hidden talent, apparently. Oh, gosh. Gosh, oh, gosh. All right. Let's pop that right there. Okay. And then we're going to pop this up on a dimensional here. And yeah, I'm sure it's under, it's under this disaster somewhere, right? That's how we roll. All right. Let's just lightly set this in place. That way I can move it if I need to. Grab our flower, add it into the mix here. Kind of add an ang rakish angle there. All right, and then we've got our card opening like that. I'll put some happy birthday in here. I feel like maybe the flower should be a little higher. Hang on. Hang on. All right, a little bit taller flower. And then we're going to add a little bit of sparkle. Um, if I could find Karen's card. <laughs> ah, found it! Oh, and look, I found a die too. Um, now this piece you could put on the inside. You can see it matches this pattern in the paper. You could put it in here. All sorts of places you could stick that fun. And then I just use multi-purpose liquid glue where you can put a little multi-purpose liquid glue on a sponge and sponge it on. Um, okay, so Karen used some um, uh, glittery gold sparkle there. Uh, let's see what I've got in my drawer of fun. 
the first thing that comes to mind is these. Um, these are the adhesive back sequins trio. So we've got the pretty peacock color, which is perfect. Also got the white with a little bit of iridescence in it and the um, berry burst color, which doesn't really match this particular pattern. So let's, let's give it a go. Let's see if we think the peacock is a little too much. Um, add it around here for a little extra bling. Put a little one here. You could do something like that. Those are way too uniform, but you get the, you get the gist. Let me put that one there. Or we could actually put one in the middle of the flower, which is what Karen did on her three flowers. You have to put the, the glue side down, Susan. <laughs> Uh, what is the name of the bundle? The, this bundle is called Irresistible Blooms. Um, and it was an online exclusive that came out last spring. It was uh, hugely popular. It's been a lot of time being sold out. <laughs> and it is back, for, and we don't know how long for. Because uh, online exclusives can go at any time. We could even put one up here. So yeah, I didn't really like it in the middle of the flower. Um, it seemed a little too much maybe, but we also have the white ones, so we could try that. See what the white looks like. So I could put a white one in the middle of the flower and you, li you like the, um, someone said they like the peacock ones cause they kind of blend in with the background. So they're not, not too overpowering. Um, do we want to put this one in the center or no? Yes or no on the, the iridescent one in the center. It just adds a little bit of sparkle in the middle. So, so are we, are we cool? With, let me know if we're good with the sequins. So, all right. And then on the inside, I would put happy birthday, right? Or happy graduation or Congratulations on your wedding. <laughs> Hooray, it's your day. Could go with a lot of different things, right? Okay, you you guys are okay with that. Okay, excellent. Yay. <laughs> all right, so let's get... All right, Susan needs to tidy uh, for a second here so you can take a photo of the dimensions because right now all you can take a photo is a big fat mess. Mm. That's how we roll. Now, somebody was saying I could put these other flowers that we did. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, we could, you know what? Waste not, want not, right? Let's stick those on the inside here. Because they're so cute. Just add a little fun on the inside. Make sure I'm up, up high enough that I don't run out of spacing here. There we go. Awesome. And on this one, we also could have curled these petals a little bit. It's really hard to do it after I've stuck it down. <clears throat> but you get the idea. You could have curled those a little bit to add a little dimension um, to the leaves. It's always kind of fun, right? So let's bring in those dimensions. You can take a screenshot. I'm going to put Karen's card here too because hers is absolutely gorgeous. Mine is a little bit simpler. Um, but still nice. So thank you so much, Karen, for inspiring us. I don't know what it is, but they get static clinging that. Oh, Susan, look how messy. Okay, sorry. Ignore the mess. Focus on the dimensions. Maybe I squish this down. Okay, is that a little bit better? I got rid of some of the mess. Um, hopefully you can take a screenshot there of the dimensions so that you can reproduce this super cute fun fold card hey let's just check and see if they stand for display well look at that they do imagine that we do like our cards that stand don't we <laughs> All right, friends, quick reminder that the uh, clearance sale is going on right now. Last chance on retired things. Um, some are on sale, some aren't, uh, but they are while supplies last. And once they're gone, they're gone. So hope you uh, get some good deals out there, some awesome ones, and also some really great things that are about to leave us. Thank you so much for making and sending handmade cards. Thank you for your advice on our cards tonight. And uh, always appreciate your input. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.